Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. My name is Mustafa Ahmed. I am a Muslim man who is born and raised in New York and currently living in California. So today I want to talk about introduction of how I found Muhammad Qasim and what I think about him and my thoughts. This is something very important that for me specifically, I was searching for these things and I was always keeping up to it. And these eschatology, Islamic eschatology, the minor signs and the major signs or something that actually really brought me to Islam in the beginning, right? When I wasn't really practicing as much. And by knowing a lot of these minor signs and major signs, um, when I came across Muhammad Qasim, everything just clicked. It was like a light bulb just flashed in my mind, right? And the reason is, is because everything fits together. The pieces fit together. I feel, unfortunately, a lot of people don't know the minor signs, the bridge, which is the Mahdi, and then the major signs. So... Whenever they come across Muhammad Qasim, they, they neglect him or they don't pay attention to exactly what he's saying. Um, so what do I think about Muhammad Qasim, right? And there's important things in the future. Uh, I think that Muhammad Qasim has some, a very, very important role to play in the, in the Muslim Ummah. I'm going to keep my opinions to myself. But the reason I say that is because Allah chose him to spread his message. So Allah picked him for a specific reason. So therefore... Allah has big plans for this man and anybody who's around this this man, right? So by if you understand Islamic eschatology, which meaning the end of time, revelation. Let's say in an in, in English word it would be the revelation, which is like the same thing like the Bible has, right? There's revelation of exactly what's going to happen in the end of times. And in this revelation, it's almost a code. It's it's kind of like a puzzle piece. And you gotta have to decipher it exactly. Figure out what's happening. Of course, we say Allahu Alam. We don't know uh, the future, but we have been given signs. So every prophet came to his nation and gave his nation a prophecy, which is stuff to come in the future, right? And our Prophet Muhammad Alaihissalam gave us as well many signs that are gonna happen in the future, and these are well known in the Hadith, right? But if you study it, it's, you gotta kind of piece it together. Which one comes first? With these dreams. There are a lot of missing puzzle pieces that actually came together. And um, why you think Brother Muhammad Qasim dreams are true? So the reason I think it's true, right, is because there's a hadith that says, in the end of times, any believer who has a dream, it's it's very true, right? If the person is truthful. On top of that, there's also another hadith that the only thing left of prophecy is true dreams, which is 146 of prophecy, right? Um and in Islam, it's specifically, dreams had a very important role. From all the way from the story of Yusuf, um, which is a huge amount of dreams, right? To the story of Musa, where the Pharaohs also having dreams. To the story of Ibrahim, where Nimrud also had dreams, right? So uh, dreams are a constant theme in the Quran. And the biggest thing that really what clicks with me, right, is that his main message in all of it, if you forget Muhammad Qasim, if you just look at what he's saying, right? A lot of people get focused on the messenger and they forgot the they forget the message, right? Um, his main thing is about avoiding shirk. So that is a that is a key principle that every prophet came and mentioned, right? That was the, that was if you can sum up what is all what is the message of every prophet is to avoid shirk and worship Allah alone. That's it, right? And and that's his message as well. So that's how you know it's a pure message. If it was anything, if it was deviated from any other source, it wouldn't mention this exact point. Uh, why do you think, uh, what is your opinion about Brother Qasim's dreams and Pakistan and the Prime Minister of Imran Khan? So my opinion, so specifically when Allah picks somebody, right? If you take the Prophet as well, this applies to anything. When, when Allah picks a certain person, he gives them specific dreams to their location. That's in their location. So Muhammad Qasim himself, he's a Pakistani man. So his dreams are going to, yes, they are for the Ummah itself, but they're also going to be very specific to exactly what's going on in his region, right? And there is a wisdom uh, for why Allah picked Pakistan, right? And then you can look into his dreams further to understand that wisdom. But there's a wisdom there. And then on top of that, Allah also has to give proof to the people directly around that region, which is in Pakistan. So Many of his dreams actually came true, right? The one with Turkey attacking Syria, and then another one that recently came true where Imran Khan was going to fail. And there's another one that's still coming true today that we're living in it, where Pakistan is going to be have no money 
and have no oil. And the army itself is going to be paralyzed, and India is going to mount its forces against it. So these these are all dreams that happen true. So if all these dreams are happening, what what to say is that why would the rest of his dreams not happen? Exactly how we said it. Um, what message you have from uh, the Muslim brothers and sisters related to Brother Qasim's dreams? Like, what would you say to other Muslim brothers and sisters? Okay, so in the end of the day, Allah yahdi man yasha. So Allah chooses to guide who He wants, right? So when we is when we have a, something that's beautiful and we have something that's very important, we want to sh spread that to everybody. So, for example, we have Islam, and it's very important that we spread Islam to the rest of the world because we're gonna held we're gonna be held accountable on their judgment. Why you didn't spread my message to the Ummah, right? And the Prophet said, Nabba even Nabba, even if it's one A, right? So Nabba Anni, even if it's one A. So give like let people know, even if you know one A, right? Let them know about it, right? So if you have something that's beautiful and you have a warning for the people, then you want to share that. You know, you don't want to hold it back and you don't want to have all this information because you're just supposed to share the treasures with everybody. So the, the reason I'm making these videos is that I want to get this message out to as many people as possible because there is calamities that are going to befall us according to the dreams as well as good news.